Hello and welcome to Hot Topics Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about social loafing. So what is social loafing? Social loafing in psychology is when uh, an individual puts in less effort when he works in a team as opposed to when he works alone. So there's also a perceived social loafing online is when uh, an individual believes that the other puts in a certain amount of effort uh, into work. And uh, that can uh, either be true to the real social loafing or not true because uh, think of a situation when somebody is struggling with an activity and puts in a lot of hard work and actually learns a lot. However, does not necessarily contribute that much to the group. Uh, so other people might perceive it as social loafing while in reality it's just uh, a different pace of learning for that particular individual. So why is it important? Because research shows that an individual will base his actions in the group based on the perceived actions of others, whether they're true or not. And so people become either free riders or start playing a soccer role. And the sucker role is the person who is actually carrying all of these free riders and social loafers and does all of the work for them. So what can you as a mentor of the uh, group uh, do to reduce uh, the social loafing and the sucker effect and the free rider effect? Um, well, uh, first of all, you need to remember of the task visibility. Task visibility is a belief that a supervisor or a mentor uh, of the group uh, is observing uh, each individual effort into the group. And if we um, have uh, people that are in the group and they believe that there is no task visibility, then of course it creates a situation for higher social loafing. We also need to remember about the distributive justice. And distributive justice is a belief of how uh, rewards and compensations are distributed among members of the group. Everyone in front of me got free bread. You want bread? Yes, please. Three dollars! <laughs> what? Nothing for you! <laughs> According to the equity theory, people will always want to have equitable relationship. And if they feel that the relationship is not equal, they are gonna show not so desired behaviors like, for example, they're gonna start being, uh, they're gonna start withdrawing or they're gonna be more aggressive in their comments and more negative and lose motivation. Uh, there is one more thing that you need to take into account is the dominance and aggressiveness. So in any design of the group, you need to uh, take into account personalities. Uh, if you don't have any restrictions in your group, then people with stronger personalities will dominate the discussion because uh, they will occupy naturally uh, the position where they feel more comfortable. And uh, in order to avoid uh, this dominance and aggressiveness, uh, because you know when one individual or a couple of indiv individuals who dominate discussion, um, they might be perceived as aggressive uh, to others that are less dominant and uh, uh, again promote social loafing in your group. So what I would like for you to do now is in the comments below, please list at least one thing that you learned from this blog post. And if you like this video, please click like and share it with the rest of your network. Uh, and if you're not on my list yet, come on over uh, to receive free updates and also to get a free gift, which is always great. And also let's connect on Facebook and on Twitter. And have a wonderful day. Conquer that day.